Thank you for being with us here on the Cedric Bailey Radio Show. And let's go to Bristol, Virginia with Mona Austin and recap the elections that took place on this Super Tuesday. Hey, Mona, how are we doing? Hi, Cedric. I am fine. I'm here with your slice of political news today. Last night, voters sealed the deal on Obama opposition. For the first time in eight years, Republicans controlled the House again, regaining power with seven new seats, not one more than necessary. Here in Virginia, the Senate seat is still up for grabs as Mark Warner and Ed Gillespie's race was too close to call. Mark Warner, the Democrat, has 49.05% of the vote and Ed Gillespie, 48.5% of the vote. They are separated now by about 21,000 votes. And in Virginia, Virginia, when the votes are separated by 1%, the loser or the person with the, the lower number of votes can actually ask for a re- count Cedric. Wow. And so we're waiting to see if that's what might happen here in the state of Virginia. Interesting. That is very interesting. Now we we know about what happened in North Carolina with uh, Kay Hagan. She lost that race, didn't she? Yes, and then Clay Aiken, American Idol's Clay Aiken, he did not uh, reclaim his seat in North Carolina as well. This has been a very interesting race. The Republicans overall did a bang-up job in getting people to side with them again. And one reason for that is Democrats distanced themselves from the the president while some Republicans embraced Romney. He became a surrogate on the campaign trail and went out campaigning for some Republicans. But there were Democrats who knew that President Obama's approval rating was low and kept a, a clear distance from him. Um, one of the Republicans who was who Democrats who was running, excuse me, um, was Anthony Brown, Lieutenant Governor of Maryland. He was running on a platform um, that. Many say was not clear, and he did not win last night, and so Maryland now has a Republican governor. Um, and But that's one of the Democrats who actually stood by President Obama, and so for, in some people's minds, that, that could be what cost him the election last night, Cedric. All right, well, Mona, listen, we, we did our, everything we could, and that's just the way how it goes. I remember when I was a college student that time and I saw that Reagan won and he won back to back terms and you know I just we just had to just place our trust in God that he'll bring us through and and uh, we'll see what's going to happen in the future as we get ready for the next uh, big election which will be in 2016 and that's the presidential year correct that is correct, and that's in 2016. And it, you know, depending on who you ask, they say that that's what this whole game is about: is putting your team together before the big game. So this was like a practice for 2016, and uh, you can see some of those who may be showing up again, and that includes Mitt Romney. And finally, Hillary Clinton has said she is thinking about running. Yeah. Um, last night was also a very big night for women in politics. Iowa Republican Joni Ernest has become the state's first female senator. Her victory is just one of many upsets that made for a historic night for the Republican victories. And then also in our nation's capital, Muriel Bowser became the first female. And she is also African American. She became the first female mayor of the, the District of Columbia. Um, she ran on a platform for education and had a consensus a, a, a consensus mentality. And that's what pundits are saying you need these days to win. You've got to be focused on consensus building. You've got to have the sort of platform that shows that you will reach across the aisle regardless of your party affiliation. And then another really big victory came out of Kentucky. McDowell won. <laughs> All right. And so, yes, he won last night, Cedric. Right. So that was one of the really big victories for the party. President Obama will be speaking today. Um, he is going to be talking about how he plans to move forward. And one of the big issues that he'll be addressing is immigration reform. And so we have to keep our eyes and ears open on how that's going to pan out. But the economy, immigration reform, and another issue that was big on the ballot last night was marijuana. Wow. Our nation's capital has legalized marijuana, Cedric. Wow. I am done, and I got to get out of here, and I'm just saying, wow. But, Mona, I'm looking forward to talking to you on Friday. So thank you for all that you do for yes. us here at Rejoice Musical Soul Food, okay? This, this is Mona Austin with your Slice Report in Bristow. Talk to you on Friday.